Mr. Jefferson, let's get out of here! Hoi allemaal, my name is Wout, and did you know that a jiffy is a real management of time? Well, if you didn't know that, please do subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe. Tell everyone you know that we'll be back in the jiffy to subscribe. Like for instance, your dad perhaps? And uh, let's get back into some more GTA 4. Of course, Gracie. Still need to handle her. Hey, hey. Yeah, so uh, anyway, a friend of mine in here tells me that a close friend of yours, who you've been spending a lot of time with recently, swept the clean off her feet. Okay. Yeah, her old boyfriend wants her back. They always do. Desperately and quickly, and he's looking for her. I think you and her should go out on a glamorous date in Algonquin. Show her new pad. Then. Things will be okay between you two. But move your fucking ass, pal. Women don't like a chump, you get me? Yo. No problem. Where can I take you? Oh. I know a fun way to go. Here we are. Thank you. Thanks, bro. That was quick. Okay. Time to go. You're moving up over the bowling street. Off in the cab of this car, I'm not. After last time, she can ride in the trunk. Fair enough. Ah, it just bit me. Ah. I think she has something to say. Motherfuckers, when my daddy finds you, he's gonna kill you. Nothing interesting. I know where they are, they're waiting for me, so I'm going that way. Oh, come on, bro. See, I think those are some goons. Oh, no. Um, oh no. Okay, there's the ramp. They already found me. Okay, that is not good. Okay. Oh, that's a whole lot of dudes. Okay. Perfect. Please don't run into me. Please don't run into me. I want to make this jump. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got this. We got this. Come on. Oh, perfect. Did it. We actually lost them. Oh, we actually lost them. Sorry, guys. I don't think the guys would mind, though. And it is done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nico, my man. Katie's taking over on my duty, so I'll be watching this Guido bitch for you. Where is she? In the trunk. She don't play too nice up front. Gracie, Gracie, act nice now. You motherfuckers, I'll rip your cocks off! She's a wild one. I'll try to calm her down. See you later, Nico. Nice. Even almost got 10 grand for that. Even better. I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Ain't 
got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years. <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry? Might finally come to an end. <laughs> I know it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> But if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping the story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets the city coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's go there. Wish I had a car now. Yo, what's up? You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yes. Yeah, that's me. Stay convoy with us all the way to City Hall. All right? Sure. There he is. Bobby Jefferson. Hi, uh, Let's go. Oh. John, how are you? Sorry. Your problem, it's my problem as well. Driver, why is this road closed? The, we were driving with those other cars for a reason. That's time for an ambush. The roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm going to go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson. Let's get out of here. How? Come on.
Get in the freaking vehicle, bruh. You've got to get us to the Civic Citadel. No problem, bro. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. More Russians wanting to kill. How about that? That was easy. If you're gonna try to take out a politician, you better take him out for sure. Thanks for the advice. American gangsters like John Bravelli understand the way life works. Bro, can you open up? I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show. Some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. Thanks, bro. And on that note, I'm going to end this mission right here. I'll travel through uh, to Gambetti. And we'll see you guys there in the next video. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to have a good time. I will see you guys in the next video. Doei doei.